the 2015 Chrysler 200, the average guy. The mid-sized sedan from Motown has been totally redesigned for 2015. It now has a more fluid and fresh new exterior design, a high quality, comfortable and tech rich interior, and sharp driving dynamics. All imported from Detroit. And you know the drill. Hold it, hold it. This will not be an average review from the average guy. That's because I've been recently called out by my man, J. Ralph Roman. His comment from August 2nd on my YouTube feed reads as follows. As someone already mentioned, Tony's got some serious editing skills and his delivery is quite awesome. And the concept of the average guy is great. Well, thank you, Mr. Roman. He goes on. But. There's always a but. But I'm only saying this with love because I want to see you succeed and get your subscriber numbers up. But I feel like all your reviews are basically the same. Kind of like you read the same script, but with a different car spec sheet. Also, I'd like to see you not like a car for a change. Well, thank you, Mr. Roman. I certainly appreciate you looking out for me and for watching my videos. And as a tribute to you, bruh, I'm gonna mix it up by ditching the script. Huh? Carol? Hi. Hey, it's Tony. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Hey, guys, this is my buddy Carol. She's my buddy from Twitter. I like to call her C-Town. And she is awesome and a serial fan of the Wolverines and everything Michigan. Right, Carol? That's right. <laughs> Go blue? <laughs> Go blue. So I have Carol on the phone not only because she's hip, jazzy, and pretty cool, but she is the proud owner of a brand new 2015 Chrysler 200. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. 200S. 200S. Carol, I'm sitting in your car right now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell me about the 200. First of all, Carol has had a 300, right? For many years. I did. Loves yeah. Chrysler, or loved the 300. So I, I need to know, what made you decide to go with the 200? Well, um, my, my 300 was a 2006, had uh, approximately 190,000 miles on it, and I, I'm a commuter, so I, I drive a couple hours uh, each day for work. Wow. Um, high mileage was starting to have to put a little bit of money into the car, and someone suggested to me the 200, and I said, no, nah, you know, I love my Hemi, I love, <laughs> you know, I love the Move, I love the V8. And so I had to be convinced, and uh, the salesman at my uh, Chrysler Dodge dealer gave me this uh, 200 to drive for the day. Wow. And I wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. He gave you the car to drive for the day? Yes. Wow. You're special. Yes. And I drove, yeah, I drove my <laughs> route to work. Yeah. I ran errands. I, you know, I did everything I would normally do. Gas mileage was everything it was as advertised. I, I loved it. I mean, I, like I said, I took it for the day. I probably put 150 miles on it. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about the car. I'm loving the way this new 200 looks as opposed to the old yeah. model. I mean, I love the lines. Yeah. What did you think when you first saw it? Well, when, I, when it was first suggested to me to check out the 200, I was thinking of, you know, a couple of years ago, and I said, no. <laughs> no way. Um, no. But then, uh, you know, he pulled up with this. It's a nice, it's a pretty red color. I, I walked around the car. I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and, um, yeah, drove it for the day and, and loved it. Now, guys, Carol is a big-time Twitter tweeter. You tweet. You're always on Twitter. And the day she bought the vehicle, she was, like, live tweeting all day about the car. We we all saw, like, pictures of the car. I love the, the color. It's beautiful. Yeah, the, yeah, it's called, um, I want to say, uh, Velvet Red. Velvet Red. Nice. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at the interior here. I'm sitting here. First of all, I'm in a nice, cushy beautiful leather seat here. Now I'm at the top trim level 
so I did some research last night. The C level is like the top level, and it, it mm -hmm. shares that with the with the S is what you have, I believe. Mm -hmm. I love the interior. A couple things that I see right away that I love. I love this like sweeping center stack where all of your controls are like sort of low, but right where your yep. right where your hand would rest. What what do you think about the interior when you first saw it, and how is it now that you're in the car? Is it functioning well for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I I really like it. I mean, coming from the last car I was in a 2006, a lot of the technology was not up up to date. Sure. So I was a little intimidated, but this is very simple, very very user friendly. It didn't take me long at all to figure everything out, and um, it's a, you know, it's it's great. So you've got Bluetooth, you've got a backup cam, right, on your model, you have the backup cam? Right. I'm noticing here it's a text-to-voice, I don't know if you've used that yet, for hands-free, like, text messaging. Right. I don't know if yep. a lot of people are using that feature yet, but I see yeah. that it's here. Now, there's something that you tweeted the day you were doing your test drive that I thought was pretty interesting, that you found in the interior that was sort of hidden, but a like a hidden... Like a treasure that you found? What was that? A hidden gem. A hidden gem. Yeah, a hidden gem. Uh, exactly. So in the little, under the um, center stack, if you will, with the uh, climate control and the uh, shifting knob, um, there's a little cubby down there, and there's a rubber mat that lines it. You know, you can put your phone, uh, key pop, and stuff down there. Um, on that mat is the skyline of Detroit. Imported so, from Detroit. That was a big thumbs up for me. All right, so... Here's said Matt that Carol is mm -hmm. talking about. It's got a picture of the skyline of Detroit, D-Town, right? Yep, and it also has the signature down in the very bottom left corner of the skyline. I want to say it's uh, Mr. Chrysler's signature. Yep. A hidden gem, as Carol describes <laughs> it. All right, so, you, so it's got this, like, thumb wheel shifter so you go from park you know park reverse Correct. to drive and, and i'm seeing that on some new chrysler products how do you feel about that that was maybe one thing that i was not real excited about but you know i'm over it now if you quickly have to pop it into reverse you, you have to think now until you learn until it becomes like muscle memory you're thinking am i really in gear yeah exactly. you know, is this <laughs> Am I really in drive? Yep. Am I yep. really in park? And I've had that car uh, a little over two weeks now, and I've put over 2,000 miles on it. Two, wh wow. So you're doing like 1,000 miles a week. And I am loving the car. <laughs> Great. Well, that's good to hear. Let's talk about the interior a little bit more. I'm sitting in this okay. really plush seat here. Nice leather seat. Again, I'm at the top trim level. Now, I've been all over the car, I jumped in the back seat, and I, nice and comfortable back there too. Carol, I'm an average guy, I'm about 5'9", and uh, you know, good leg room little for me guy. in the back. What? What'd you say? Little guy. Little guy, right? Little... <laughs> I'm not a little... I'm an average guy. <laughs> but in the back seat, for the average guy, there's decent leg room. Well, I probably won't be spending a whole lot of time in the back seat because I am the driver. But. My, my daughter, when I test drove the car, my daughter rode back there, and she complained it was a little cramped. She's six foot tall. Wow. So the other sister who was in the front seat, who was also six foot tall, had to put her seat up a little tight back there. So your daughters are not average girls, is what you're saying? They're not. <laughs> in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> to make up for somewhat tight quarters in the back for taller than average people, I noticed, Carol, the trunk is massive in this vehicle. Huge. 16 cubic feet of trunk space. And what's interesting is that when you look at it from the outside, it doesn't have a huge trunk lid. So it looks, you know, aesthetically, it, you know, it looks sporty. You're sure you're not in marketing? You don't do marketing for a living? <laughs> I'm a nurse. Yes, Carol is a nurse. If you need a nurse that drives a smoking hot car and she's above average in height and wit, right, and personality, Carol is your girl. Right, Carol? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, Carol, thanks a lot for being on the video. I'm going to go finish off the review. I'll, I'll hit you up on Twitter later, all right? Um, I think you forgot the most important part. Uh, driving the car? Hey, that's my line. That's my line. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Tell me about the driving experience. You've been in this vehicle for two weeks, and you've driven it 2,000 miles. There's no one that can talk about it more I than you. <laughs> I know. 
you know, one of my first concerns, because I was used to having the big V8 Hemi engine in the 300, um, is when I got out in the far left lane and I touched the gas, I was going to go. And um, so that was a concern for me because I like to drive. No problem. This has the um, nine-speed transmission, and it, it has the um, paddle shifters, which I've seen ever on TV. I have yet to really try them out. 300 horsepower. You know, I think my 300 had 360 horsepower. Wow. It was a much heavier car. So this is lighter. It goes when you want it to go. I'm very pleased. So, Carol, I'm an average guy, as you know, a short what did you say? A little guy? I'm a little, a little guy. I'm a little average guy, so I'm not testing the the V6 that you have with the 295 horses. I have to go with the base 2.4 liter four cylinder engine that pumps out about 184 horses. It's good on gas. 23 city, about 36 highway. It's been pretty true to form. I think I read that the model that you have, the V6, is good for about 18 city, 29 highway. Is that pretty good for what, I mean, is that a pretty real estimate? Yeah. I'm getting excellent gas mileage. In fact, I just want to mention that I have, you know, in my in my time spent behind the wheel, the car's on a little rough calculation in my head, and uh, figured on a monthly basis, I'll save between 80 and 90 dollars. Wow. And what are you yeah. going to do with that 80 or 90 dollars? You're going to buy <laughs> more boots or <laughs> shoes? <a> short deal. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Carol, I want to thank you for being on the video. I want you to enjoy your vehicle, I'm sure. I'll be getting lots of tweets all year long about how great it is here, how great it is in the snow, yada, yada. But I love it. Thanks for helping me out. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to go get something to eat. But I want to thank you all for watching out there. And my man, J.R. Roman, let me know what you think, brah. Let me know what you think. All right, I'll see you all next time. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Don't forget to keep pushing play. This woman is trying to take... You trying to take my job, Carol? Uh, no, I don't need another job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, girl. I'll talk to you later.